was it for you guys to close out that clock and not give him another opportunity yeah. to get that ball? Right. He's uh he's had a lot of those come back, so I think we knew that uh, we had to finish out. And uh, I mean, I just gotta say this about number nine. He's one of he's one of the best, and uh, he's one of the classiest dudes of all time. One of my favorite teammates of all time, and I just appreciate him all class through everything. How about the way that Jared played tonight? I mean, things didn't always go your guys' way, but you found a way. It really kind of. Um, symbolizes, symbolizes this team all season mm -hmm. long, and, and it seems like Jared's kind of the face of that. Right exactly, and, Jer and Jared, like I've said it before, but he's just, no matter what the situation, good, bad, yeah. ugly, pretty, same guy, consistent guy in the huddle, unfazed, uh, it just keeps going to work, and uh, I appreciate that so much about him. Greg, this is an organization, a team, and you've been a part of it for a long time that's waited to get that one win. Now that you've gotten it in the postseason, does it does it feel a little bit different knowing how capable this team is of winning more? For sure. And we go into next week with another home game. Get to see if these fans can one-up that atmosphere. It's going to be nuts. And I think we realize that this team this is a special locker room. And who knows, you know, let's just keep going and we'll see what happens. How much more special does it make it knowing how far this organization has come and how dark some of those days were? Yeah, right. Like we've been through we've been through a lot of uh, not so fun days, you know, uh, this fan base, this team for my career, at least and before that. And uh, to see us kind of climb towards the top here and hopefully we just keep on going. It's been pretty cool. And just to see how the fans have stuck with us through that and now showed up tonight and more than I expected is pretty awesome.